السلام علیکم مائی نیم از فریضا فیاض اینڈ مائی رول نمبر از بی پی ون سکس فائیو ڈبل زیرو سکس ٹو ٹو ڈے آئی ایم پریزینٹنگ سم انفارمیشن اباؤٹ بنزائل پر آکسائڈ بنزائل پر آکسائڈ از اے ٹاپیکل میڈیکیشن موسٹلی یوز ٹو ٹریٹ ایکنی آئیدر الون اور ان کمبینیشن وتھ ادر ٹریٹمنٹس اٹ از ویری افیکٹیو فار ٹریٹنگ ایکنی اینڈ کوٹینیس لیجنس کمبینیشن پروڈکٹس آف بنزائل پر آکسائڈ لائک وتھ لینڈا مائسن اینڈ سیلیسلک ایسڈ اپیئرس ٹو بی سلائٹلی مور افیکٹیو then uh, benzoyl peroxide alone for the treatment of acne lesions benzoyl peroxide for acne treatment is usually usually uh, used in the uh, concentration of 2.5% and may be increased up to 5 to 10% there are some rational and irrational uses of benzoyl peroxide for the rational uses uh, topical medication is used to treat acne vulgaris mild to moderate acne can be treated It is uh, used in combination with other acne treatments when applied to the skin. Benzoyl peroxide works by reducing the number of acne-causing bacteria, and ultimately causes the dryness of skin and uh, peel of the skin. Irrational uses uh, are the excessive uses when we use benzoyl peroxide irrationally, so it can cause skin irritation and inflammation, and further leads to dryness and peeling of the skin. There are some adverse effects. Uh, of uh, benzoyl peroxide which can be rare but uh, very serious allergic reactions can cause severe skin irritation these reactions may occur just a few minutes after you apply the medicine or within a day or long after what's uh, signs of an allergic reaction uh, contains high itching difficult breathing feeling lightheaded and swelling of your face lip tongue or throat for the side effect on the treated skin severe stinging or redness swelling itching and burning can be feel and the peeling tingling feeling and skin dryness are seen as a side effect for the dosage form we usually uh, use uh, concentration of benzoyl peroxide is 2 uh, 2.5% to 10% for uh, over the counter preparations and prescription as well for pediatrics adults and geriatrics we start with one application per day then gradually increase to two or three times per day if needed or as directed by a healthcare provider no dose adjustment is required in renal compromised and uh, pregnant ladies because this is non irritant due to topical administration There are uh, many brands of benzoyl peroxide but the few are here uh, like benza gel which is produced by Pharma Health Pakistan uh, and it cost around uh, 119 rupees uh, then we have penoxyl which is made by the Gilman Pharmaceuticals and having rupees 1, uh, 154 rupees uh, brivoxyl which is uh, produced by GSK Pharmaceutical and has rupees 325 Uh, there uh, is an alternative of benzoyl peroxide which is tea tree oil or melaleuca oil which is an antiseptic antibacterial antimicrobial essential oil that is an alternative for benzoyl peroxide uh, it cause it kill the acne causing bacteria and penetrate the pores to dry it out and uh, it is the best possible replacement for benzoyl peroxide there are some uh, drug drug interactions of benzoyl peroxide which is uh, uh, usually with the topical ad- preparations uh, like adapalene adapalene is uh, applied in a thin layer of a gel to the uh, affected area once daily at the bed time benzoyl peroxide uh, product may be applied to the skin up to the skin three times daily as needed combining adapalene or benzoyl peroxide with other topical acne treatment can lead to excessive dryness and irritation of the skin then there is another drug which is known as depson topical which uh, has uh, interaction with benzoyl peroxide and it enhances the treatment of acne vulgaris then we have isotretinoin and uh, tretinoin topical they both interact with benzoyl peroxide and cause the irritation of the skin Then we have case study related to benzoyl peroxide in which a 25 year old woman who has been suffering from acne vulgaris since she was 15 she explained from painful uh, acne acne forms uh, eruptions affecting mainly the lower third of her face from medical history there were no data about disturbances in her menstruation she had regular cycles she had negative family history for acne vulgaris the patient reported improvement of the cutaneous lesions from uh, sun exposure in summer one year ago she had visited another dermatologist and was treated with the topical antibiotics and sunscreen without significant effect at the time uh, for psych- gynecological examination revealed hormonal abnormalities and a 6 month therapy with cabergoline 0.5 mg per daily was given
nevertheless the disease was found resistant to the therapy now we will uh, make a soap notes for the uh, for giving a treatment plan uh, firstly subjective which uh, contains chief problem as any uh, as if as any form eruptions with acne vulgaris then history uh, of the patient is age 25 years onset 10 years characterization and location is lower third of days history of medicine cabergoline 0.5 mg per daily for 6 months for objective duration of symptom 10 years menstrual cycle regular hematological analysis also normal luteinizing hormone is normal follicle stimulating hormone is also normal thyroid stimulating hormone is also normal and the level of total testosterone is 0.81 ng per ml and the levels of uh, prolactin is 47.16 ng per ml polycystic ovary uh, syndrome which is PCOS is negative now the assessment is hormonal abnormalities in testosterone and prolactin are present. Menstrual cycle is regular, but LH and FSH are in normal range. No history of PCOS and hematological analysis is normal. Use of sunscreen improved cutaneous lesions. Six months use of cabergoline for, for prolactin hormones balanced result in uh, resistant to therapy. On the basis of the data from the medical history, clinical and laboratory examinations, the patient was diagnosed with a moderate adult onset acne. For the treatment plan, uh, we have a uh, topical uh, treatment with uh, benzoyl peroxide 2.5% and clindamycin 1.2% gel once a day. Uh, and uh, systemic therapy with bromocryptine, mesylate 2.5 mg and ethinyl estradiol 0.03 mg per day was recommended by the gynecologist. As a result of the treatment, at the end of six months, slight improvement will be observed. The eruption on the face will be diminished. If no such improvement is seen after six months, then tretinoin will be prescribed in 0.25 mg per gram. Now discuss some important uh, points about adult onset acne. Adult onset acne is defined as the chronic inflammatory disease of the uh, pilosebaceous units occurring at the age over 25 years. It commonly affects female between the age of 25 and 50 years. And it's uh, clinically presented with comedons, papules, pustules, cyst, and nodules on the lower part of the face, chin, and jawline. Most of the cases are resistant to the therapy, as we have seen in the case study. Now for the reference, uh, I have taken information about uh, benzoyl peroxide from Corda Kimball and Lipincott. And for the case study, I have researched uh, it from researchgate.net and pharmaceuticaljournal.com. Along with that, uh, I have found some information uh, about treatment from ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. Thank you.